Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more EU4 Mandate of Heaven playing as Japan. Alright, so we got these little guys coming together finally. Um, you, I guess, can protect trade in Beijing. You guys go over here. Just trying to get these small little navies together. Because I really am getting annoyed having them all broken up like this. These are a bunch of brigs. Now, where are you going? You're still picking these guys up, huh? Alright. Got 4,000 troops here. Yes, I'm aware. Let's go ahead and pull them together. Okay. What about you? You're on the way. Looks like we've more or less consolidated everything, actually. We're in better shape. Okay. Portugal's taking stuff. Uh, Abin power is capped out again. Um, I'm not going to go for level 3 stability. So... Probably should just go ahead and get another state. What should it be? Jiangxi, 43. North Hebei, or whatever. The Maluka's, 44. North Hebei, where is that? North Hebei, here it is. Hello. And this isn't even entirely under my control. 38. Beijing's not a state! Oh my god. Make a state. 92 power. Done. Thank you. Ching Wong's. Um, I'll give you this. You know the other thing we could do? We haven't looked at this yet, but turn 8. After we finished um, annexing them, we can turn this stuff into a state for free. It's already a state. See? Look how easy that is. What about you? Let's turn you into a state. Not going to cost me much. Sulu. Um... Spice Islands? We don't fully control thanks to Tidor. I think I'll wait on that one. There are probably a couple other little islands here and there that were owned by Turnate, like this one, for example. Which we could turn into a state. Now, we have a couple islands that aren't done yet. And they don't even have a lot of development, so I don't think they're worth taking up my limited number of states. How many can we have? Where's the, where's, where does it tell you? There's, an, there's a limit to the number of states you're allowed to have. Is it under tech? States. No, that's the bonus number of states. There is a way. I just don't remember what it is. Hmm. The Shizu also wants some stuff. Okay. Well, what about down over here? Mm, you can have this one. That wasn't enough? All right. No, no, no. Hmm. Uh, I guess we'll just go ahead and give them this 8 development. Why not? Ooh, we're producing coffee now. That's nice. So, Brunei, you're taking stuff that I care about. I'm going to let you keep colonizing, but um, I think we're getting to a point where I'm going to want to break my tributary status with them and start killing them. Now, how are we doing on rebels? Pretty darn good, actually. We may want to consider going to war with somebody. We can't go to war with Ming right now. Can't go to war with Korchin for a while. So we could go to war with these guys again. And start working our way up the uh, Malukas again. Or Malacca. They actually ate Malacca, I just realized. Those guys are gone. Do we still have claims against them? Shockingly enough, yes, we totally do. Yeah, let's start transporting some troops. Go here. We got forts in position and everything. Me went bankrupt again. I'm so sorry. <laughs> For centuries now, they're just getting a terrible, terrible bargain. All right. Let's upgrade these ships. How is the institution? Okay, we have it in Kyoto now. So that's done. Should be spreading to all nearby provinces, which are getting it at a pretty slow rate. Why is this so much faster, though? Oh, you have a fact manufactory as well. This one doesn't. Yeah, it's going to take a little while. But we'll be okay. We'll be A-OK. -okay. Lithuania it lost to the Ottomans. Okay, finally the Ottomans win a war in that region. Took them a while. Uh, still seven years ahead of time, so we're not going to do this, but we could spend some of our Diplo power to accept a new culture. Like this one. Worth it. 7% of my development. 
More conversions of these tiny little islands. Thank you. And let's transport you right here. Oops. No. You're fine where you were. Okay. I want to build some more ships, I think. Let's get some more... Uh, whoops. Let's get some more trade ships going. Some here. Some here. Up to 258. And this navy is going to start protecting trade, I think. In the Pacific. We have a lot of gold shipments that are, you know, disappearing for reasons. Pirates. I hate those filthy bandits. New Portugal. Lansheng took lands. Lansheng... You're a troublemaker, aren't you? Corchin went bankrupt. Corchin's going to be an easy target. Gold rush. Oh, yes. 2,500 ducats. And shockingly, only one inflation considering. Portugal declared war again. Let me go ahead and reduce some inflation. Um, so, Portugal, you need to stop what you're doing. Look at Spain go. They're getting Brazil going now. Where is... Spanish Louisiana, I think, is what they're doing. They're, they're trying to kill all the natives in eastern North America. Just irritating me a little bit. Hmm. All right. Sorry. What was I doing? Bah, I don't remember. I'm going to save this money for a little bit. Let's see how much it costs to get many factories when that time comes. Uh, let's put a general in charge. Actually, I never even checked to see what that general was that we got from the uh, Ching Wongs. And there's a 3431, which is not half bad. Thank you, offensive ideas, making them better. Okay. Solomon Islands, now producing tropical wood. Cool. You go here. You also go here. We're going to jump on these guys. They're very, very dead. Do they know it? No. But they're about to. You're allied to somebody. Come here. Huh. Yeah, I don't care about that. That's fine. I'm going to do a conquest of your capital, I think. Yep. Goodbye, sir. Oh, good. Another colony has become self-sustaining. One of the ones that we got from turn eight. So, okay, that's going to save me quite a bit of money per month, not having more of those um, costing me. So, that's a stack wipe. <laughs> Easy. Spain declared war on Tunis. Um, I thought Tunis was allied to the Ottomans. They have a royal marriage with the Ottomans, but they are no longer allies. Well, now. Ain't that interesting. These guys are actually doing pretty well for themselves. I wonder if they're going to form Hindustan. They might. They might. We'll see. Hey, when do we get... Uh, oh, good. Another colony's done. This one. That was pretty quick, actually. Let's see. Solomon Islands, I think we should go ahead and try to finish you off. Before we continue doing more. So, um... When do I get... When do I get Imperialism? Does it say? Cassus Belly? Oh, wait. It's a Diplo thing, isn't it? Stock exchange. Well, I thought it was. There's a way to find out when it's going to happen. Or at least there used to be. Hmm. How about this? I have no idea when I get it, but I can check the EU4 wiki another time. Either way, I'm looking forward to that day. It's going to be a little while longer, though. All right, you guys go here. You guys go here. The classic of music. Apart from the five classic texts compiled by Confucius, tradition also speaks of a sixth classic, the classic of music. I have no idea what the texts are by Confucius. I've never studied Confucianism, but interesting. One of the 305 songs originally contained in this work, which has been lost since the burning of books, has been rediscovered during an inventory of an old library in one of the southern provinces. This marvelous discovery is seen by the sign of our divine man mandate. Cool. Corchin lost a ton of land. Okay, Corchin is ripe for the picking. We'll have to deal with them in due time. For now, though, let's keep killing these guys. Colonial Migration. Uh, lose population in the Solomon Islands, gain it in our other colony, which means it will finish a little bit faster. I guess it's actually not the worst thing in the world. It's not great, but it's not the worst. It could be a heck of a lot worse. Stop blockading me, please. Thank you. Can we not cross? What do you mean I can't cross? 
Don't use the transports. Just cross the street. Oh, good grief. Whatever, fine. You want to be stupid? I'm going to dock up. And you're going to go cross that straight. And then you're going to go out here. And then you're going to go up here. And then you're going to sit tight. Well, their infantry is dead. Trading and coffee happened to us. Ooh! The institution spread plus 5%. That's awesome. Convert. Palace bureaucracy. More core cost reduction. Because core cost is good. We have a crap ton of ships that are now coming together. Trading in fish and spices is now happening to us as well. Well, what do you know? Getting capped out on power again, as we often do, it seems. Um, Beijing, how are you looking with the institution? You haven't finished building your manufacturer yet. It's going to take a long time to build that. Fine. Uh, more states. Jiangxi is still pretty good at 43. Where's that? Not there, not there, not there, not there, not there. There it is. This one. You, we shall now convert into a stake. Congratulations. Mazel tov. And the Chinwongs also want more land. Fine. Take that. Get out of my face. Alright. This war should be pretty darn uneventful for us. Um, that colony is done. Good. I think we continue working on the Philippines and stuff before Brunei gets the rest of it. Because I'm actually not really happy that Brunei is doing that. Not happy about that at all. Okay. Get one of these forts, please. Thank you. Go here. Go here. Do, 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 do. Kill their army in the jungle. And they're dead. Okay. 74% war score, huh? Take all that. Take this island. Take the straight. Um. What else do we want? Well, I can take up to a full 100% overextension, I think. This is what I can do. That'll get me a lot closer. But we need 93% for that. And that's a fair bit of aggressive expansion. Again, the Ottomans could join a coalition against me. But I don't think they're going to, honestly. They'd be pretty much on their own. Which uh, is not really the Ottomans' favorite way of playing this game. Okay, you guys go here. You guys go here. You guys go here. And move forward. Go here. And we're blockading. And this war is practically over before it began. Alright. Still six years ahead of time. We have no corruption right now, which is awesome. Hmm. <laughs> you know, I wish that... Uh, Chisai Nihon would colonize some New Guinea. I wish they would do that. But they don't ever want to really expand outside of their colonial trade, uh, colonial region, which is pretty much just this in Australia itself, so... It's not gonna happen. Subsidizing them would be worthless. We may want to consider subsidizing, like, I don't know, California or something. Help them along. Because, you know, they seem to be having a hard time doing anything other than Washington freaking state. At least they're getting a little bit closer. Tiny bit. These guys have managed to join up all their land, though. I feel pretty happy about them. Anyone else? Okay. None of, this guy is not my tributary. Not my tributary. Not my tributary. Okay. So if none of these people here are my tributaries, there's really no downside to saying that I want them to conquer all of that, right? Not that I, not that I know of. Conquer anything you dang well want. Go wild, man. Yep, that's still part of colonial Mex Mexico still, so it's not going to go down into Colombia. Perfect. Yep, kill any of them you want. Just free reign. Your pick. 
and Lan Shang to refuse to send me tribute again. Let me guess, are you disloyal? Yep. We will stow gifts upon you, and now they're not disloyal. Build a weapons manufactory. We built it somewhere up here, I thought. Whatever. Uh, colonize something. Kag. Kirgan. Oh, okay. Sure, we'll pick up that mission. Um, kind of wish that this had been one of these two so we could finally start joining up this land, but hey. I guess that's okay. Hey, one cool thing, by the way, of moving my capital over to the mainland is, uh, finally we're gonna have, like, Japan, our texts spread across the world. Of course, Japan itself is now Japanese Japan, which makes sense. It's perfectly logical. Don't, don't question it. Shut up. The game knows what it's doing, I'm sure. Paradox. They know what they're doing. They're smart people. More conversions. Gosh, dang, this admin power is amazing. Okay, more states. More states. More states. Um, we want next go for... I guess we could go for the Great Malukas. That would be fine. Areas. Well, I guess I kind of expected it to be one of these. Hmm. Oh, this right here. There we go. Philippines. Okay. I only have 31 states. Oh, we can only actually have 31 states. We are capped out on states. Really? Well, what do you freaking know? We can't use the admin power? <laughs> the tributaries are so OP! So much power! Um, okay. Brunei, switch to military, 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 military. Diplo, Diplo, Diplo. Um, I guess we could go for that stability. How is the inflation? We'll reduce our inflation for now. We need to finish up this war so I can spend some of that. Hokey smokes, I've never been doing that well on power. I like playing as the Empire of China. Trading in tropical wood. Development cost reduction. Could have been useful before. Granada and Gibraltar are going to Spain. Granada and Gibraltar? I wasn't aware that Tunis owned any of the Iberian Peninsula. Apparently they did. Well then I guess I can't really blame um, Spain for wanting to get that back. We do not have a truce with Ming for much longer. 1658. Great Britain is claiming stuff. What? This right here? That's mine. You don't even... How, how did you get a claim on it? Nobody knows. It's a mystery. Hmm. I think we just go ahead and promote mercantilism again. All right. Let's just sue for peace with these guys. I think we've um, I think we've messed with them long enough. So let's go ahead and demand your money. Nothing else really matters. I'm gonna finish this off. Goodbye. And core, 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 core. The cool thing about this administrative of efficiency is I think we're actually getting less overextension. So it's actually letting me take more land as well as get it for cheaper. This is gonna go really well once it's paired up with uh, imperialism. Get rid of this fort, and this fort too. And you guys... Go, let's say, here. And you go, let's say, here. Give me back my general. Alright, more land for me. Still could get that tech. I'm not gonna get it. Hmm. Trading... Oh, we lost the Tropical Wood. Okay, our truce with mixed tech has ended. I wasn't aware that I had a truce with them. I know my colony did. Is that who you're thinking of? Improvements in government technology. More power? Sure. Why not? Why not? Trading in spices. Lost. Okay. So when do we want to annex Tidor? I mean, they've been doing some pretty decent work for me lately. I kind of think that I want to I wanna subsidize them a little bit more. And I'm going to. I'm going to subsidize you a ducat and a half. I'm actually going to go to California as well. And really try to encourage them to do something useful. Because <clears throat> I know that they are colonizing. But they're doing so kind of slower than, well, everyone else. So, let's let's give them a couple ducats. 
really start cranking out those colonists, please. Please, please, please. All right. We only have one province left in the Philippines, which I would love to get. And then Brunei, I have no idea what you're going to keep colonizing. You're going to have to find something. Splendor! I guess we could go for the harsher treatment. It's okay. Monthly devastation, again, could be situationally good for us, though. Would certainly help increase our mandate. But this actually reduces the cost enough that I'm open to the idea of doing harsh treatments, if I ever have enough power. So we're going to do that. Hey, we can embrace an institution! Let's see. We have... Fair bit throughout Japan. And up here. Apparently down here in Malaysia, or Malaya as well. Um, you never finished your manufactory in Beijing, huh? Okay. How much is it going to cost me? 5,000 ducats. Well, you know what? There's no reason necessary. Okay, well, there is a reason. We don't have to take it for four more years, because that's when we can get rid of the, uh, the penalty, right? If we get it early, we will get a goods produced modifier. But otherwise, I'm going to let these nations try to, uh, sorry, these territories try to develop it on their own. The risks of trade compensate the traders. They would get influence, which is surprisingly hard to do. Uniform regulations. Okay. So we can fight Korchin now. That's a thing. Um, we probably have the Unified China cast a spell against them still. Yep. It only gives us the benefit when we are taking land that's in the Chinese subcontinent, though. So basically one province is the only one we would get a benefit from. Hmm. What's a priority at this point? I mean, who knows? Uh, do we want to get more troops? Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and get another stack, let's say, right here. Work up toward that force limit. We do have over 200, so now we're actually producing 9 Splendor per month. We're probably going to get all of these, even though I don't intend on using most of them. I wish there was a Japanese one, you know? That'd be nice. But no, Japan apparently, despite being, you know, a rather influential nation in uh, Earth's history, apparently doesn't count. Colonial Assembly, Liberty Desire, and Lan Shang, again, here, have money. We shall distract you with shiny. Many shiny. All right. You guys are transports. Join up over here. You guys join up over here as well. You guys protect trade in California, I think, if we can. Yes. Protect the California node. You also shall protect the California node. You also shall protect the California node. That should be fine, right? Whoop! Oh, the Eco Iki apparently have only just fired. Really? Feels like that's many, many decades, if not hundreds of years late, but okay. Well, I mean, gosh, look at them go. They're murdering them all. Liang is attacking Korchin. Gosh, dang. Everyone in the, everyone in Asia just cannibalizes on each other so freaking hard. It's getting hard to keep track of them. They're just trying to take over this land, which I guess makes sense. But even so, it's annoying. All right. So, looks like we finished building those troops already. Was pretty quick. We're going to finish up these cores and then I think we have to go kill uh, Ming again. Game meritocracy. Okay. Forced tributary state against Malacca. Who exists? Sorry, what? Well, hello, Malacca. Hi. How are you? Hmm. I think we're gonna spy on you so that we might murder you. Let's do a long-distance shuffle split. Our Shogun has 5% extra discipline. Ooh, that's nice. 
conversion successful. That was pretty quick. Convert the Ten Gri. A rival Lan Chang makes sense. And we are still improving with all of our different subjects. And that's a bunch of cores. Getting kind of close to being capped out on our Diplo power again. Uh, I guess we once again do Mercantilism. I'm gonna, I'm, 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 I feel like this is starting to get a little bit rinse and repeat right now. Um, we're not going to be able to make any like massive pushes until we get Imperialism. But it's still kind of fun. Let's get some cannons. Are these armies well balanced? Kind of okay. We just need more cannons across the board, actually. And I think that finishes off all of the cores, yes? Yes. Good. So, Chuseth Main expires in September. A couple more months. Support for dissidents. Lose money. Brunei. I'll lose the prestige. Who cares about that? Loss of claim. Oh, yeah, on a province that no one lives in anymore. That's fine. Trading in spices once again happens. Cool. Better spy networks. Yoshihisa Saito. Stability. Yay. Back up to level 3 stability. That's excellent. So, I'm thinking, relatively soon, we should be able to finish off the Celestial Reforms and get an extra uh, Monarch Admin power. Relatively soon. Which is great. Okay, so we finished off with Ming. Uh, Ming, I think I think we have to kill you now. So don't take it too personally, but I mean you just need to die. The isolation of Yoshikazu the first. Lose mandate, gain power. I don't want to lose mandate for power. I'm gonna lose meritocracy. Corchin will seed land. Makes sense. Can embrace the institution. But we're still three years ahead of time, so no biggie. Colonialism against Malacca. They have colonies? What? Well, what do you know? Huh. Maybe I don't kill Malacca and I let them colonize for a little bit. Maybe. Let's let's deal with this one step at a time. Let's let's fight Ming, but then I'll worry about killing them. I need to unify China some more, you know? The thing that we've been doing for, well, forever. And mostly I want to connect to my freaking territory. It's kind of annoying me that we don't have that. Okay. General in charge here. Where's your capital? There it is. Go there. You. Different general. Go here. You go here. Ming, is this all you own? I'm going to full annex Ming. I was actually about to end this video, but we can win this war in, like, no time at all. And we're capped on power again. Ottomans have rivaled Australia. Oh, sorry, Austria. Not Australia. Bit of a difference there. Um, I, f I can't get any more states. We have to do development? I never do admin development. All right. Well. This is cool. Do a little bit here, and here, and here, I guess. I never, ever, ever get to do admin developments, because I'm always spending it on something. Oh, Separatists fired. Um, they're actually a threat. Oh no. Get down here. Are we going to win? We're really close. We won. Okay, never mind. It was a little, it was a little dicey for a moment there, but we won. Uh, you go here. You go here. Yeah, we're gonna full annex Ming. We're gonna finally put them out of their misery. It's been a long several centuries of war, but... All good things must come to an end, Ming. I think I've drawn out your suffering long enough. 28% mercantilism now, that's pretty good. Oh gosh dang it. You've lost progress, how dare you. I want to end this video, and end the week. But now we're getting kept out on power again. <laughs> it's so crazy. Come on, take the fort! Oh, the southern elites. Mandates. Yes. A general died. Or was it... A, no, I think it was our admiral. Yep, it was our admiral. Okay, developments. Sort. Doop, 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 doop. 
There. How do you feel about that? Better? Good. Stop! Pause! God! I always hit the pause button right when it actually does the auto-pause, so it ends up unpausing. So frustrating when that happens. It's my own darn fault, but it's frustrating anyway. Take this, 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 and this. That is the full annexation of Ming. Take your money. Nothing else matters. Make you give up your claims for good measure. Uh, not that it... Again, it does not matter. Apparently, we can't make them. Really? I mean, again, it, it doesn't matter, but I'm surprised. Why can't we finish this? Oh, good grief. You're gonna make me wait two months. Oh, fine. You wanna be that way? Fine. Be that way. Secrets in our alliance. I don't care. And now you will accept, I think? Ming? Yes. Alright, forget anything else. Who cares about the cores? Goodbye, Ming, and now my text finally looks big. Big and beautiful. All right, I need to be ending up this video, but thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed. We've grown quite a bit. Um, I could annex Tidor, but we have been really letting them kind of do their thing for a while, and it's been going well, so... Maybe I hold on to them a little bit longer, at least until I finish up this region. And, um, I'm hoping we get Imperialism relatively soon. We'll kill Korchin. Probably want to kill Liang. Um, that's all I can think of for now, so we'll see what happens. Be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.